The second and third way of doing session management is using URL rewriting or hidden fields. URL rewriting is the backup when cookies are disabled on the browser. In URL rewriting, your URL gets appended with the unique ID that can be used to track the session. The unique token that has to be sent back and forth between the client and the server will be appended to every URL on your web page. So if you are dynamically generating, let's say, a photos.jsp or photos web page, from your home page, the user has clicked on a link and then you are going to launch a photos.jsp. In that photos.jsp link, you are also going to append a unique J session ID. That way, when the page is presented to the browser and the user clicks on the URL, along with the page that should be served, the session ID also comes back to the server. In the JEE space, Java application, web application space, you can append the J session ID. You can ask the web container to append the J session ID by invoking the encode URL method on the response object and pass it the URL that you want the J session ID to be appended. That will return you a string that should be used in here. Instead of the simply photos.jsp, you will get this whole string along with the J session ID that should be used in your ahref. So you have to do this for all the URLs in your page. The third way of doing session management or sending the token back and forth is hidden fields. In this case, when the user clicks on a link, he can see the JSON ID and everything in the web browser. But when you are using forms to submit data, HTML forms, instead of clicking on a link, you should use the hidden field and it could have a unique ID with the name JSON ID and the value of it will be the session ID which will be sent to the server when you click on the submit button for a particular form or when the user clicks on the submit button. So you now know all the three ways to do session management. One is using cookies, which are textual information, name value pair of textual information. Two, using URL rewriting, wherein you will be appending the session ID to all the URLs that a particular page in your application has. And to do that, you use HTTP servlet response objects, encode URL, which will return you a URL, which will be appended with JSession ID. Then the last way is to use hidden fields. When you are using forms in your web page, you will use a hidden field which when clicked, when the submit button is clicked, the JSON ID will be sent. The user will not see this, but the server will get it back. That's the beauty of the hidden fields.